Welcome to this Widex e-learning tutorial on selecting the correct earset configuration in Compass GPS. The first step in obtaining an accurate and successful fitting is to select the appropriate receiver type and ear tip in the selection window. The example used in this tutorial is a dream hearing aid with an instant double ear tip. Selecting the same ear set in Compass GPS as the one actually mounted on the hearing aid is extremely important for an accurate fit. Failing to do so will have major negative implications on the hearing aid's performance. Both the feedback test and the sensorgram are based on the acoustic identity corresponding to the ear set selected in the selection window. Providing the correct amount of amplification maximizes the benefit of the hearing aid for the user and reduces the risk of feedback. Let's have a look at how to define the ear set in Compass GPS. First, select the receiver type via the drop-down list. As you can see, the fitting range changes according to the receiver type you select. The fitting range for each receiver type is fixed and you cannot adjust or change it. That is why selecting the same ear set as the one actually mounted on the hearing aid by the end user is extremely important. Next, select the ear tip from the drop-down list. Again, it is important to select the same ear set as the one actually used by the end user. Finally, define the size of the vent if appropriate. A fitting based on the audiogram alone can in some cases be sufficient, but we strongly recommend that you make the in-situ measurements, such as the feedback test and the expanded sensorgram, to ensure better and more accurate fitting. Performing a feedback test lets you measure the maximum available gain for the specific hearing aid and ear set, and an OK result ensures that the user will not have feedback problems. The sensorgram measures the hearing thresholds with the hearing aid and ear set chosen in the selection window. Measuring the sensorgram gives you a precise starting point for the calculation of the amount of amplification needed for the hearing aid user. If the hearing aid user is not quite satisfied with the sound from the hearing aid, the solution guide gives you suggestions for fine-tuning the hearing aid. If, for example, a user's hearing loss has changed and you replace the receiver type with another, or you replace an open ear tip with a closed or partially closed ear tip, it is important to redefine the ear set in Compass GPS. You should also run a feedback test and measure the sensorgram again to ensure an accurate and successful fitting. Some people say that well begun is half done. By carefully selecting the ear set in Compass GPS, you establish a good starting point for the fitting and fine-tuning so as to maximize hearing aid performance and user satisfaction.